As you can see, I'm using a custom skin. I have the full map reveal and I have a bunch of mods installed and I'm going to teach you in this video how to download and install mods, custom content, packs, whatever you want to call it for Power World because it should be super, super simple to do and I don't want you all struggling. So let me help you out. Let's go ahead and get started with this guy. I want you to learn the difference between a mod and a custom content or a packs as, as people call it, right? Or, or actually it's called packs, right? So a mod, most of the time, a mod will require you to install some type of a script loader, which is going to allow us to modify the script of Power World to play around with the mod. It usually changes actions and stuff that require more of a code thing and then custom content usually just changes either graphics or the aesthetics of something. So like a skin and stuff like that, right? So it's important that you know that because there's different ways of modding the game, right? So there's the ones where you install mods using a script and then there's a custom content where you just add a pack and it's super simple. In this guide, I'm going to show you both ways. And I went ahead and put all of this together in the second link in the description. If you click on that link, you're going to see this guide, right? I put everything together in here for you guys to follow in a super simple way. As you can see, this guide is not that long and it's super simple. However, I'm going to show you in this video. Let's go ahead and start by modding the game using the script mods. How do you use the script mods? Well, first of all, you're going to need this software called Unreal Engine 4 SS. This is going to allow us to mod the game using a script, which is those mods that allow you to change things in the game that usually require a little bit of coding and stuff like that. Obviously, we're not going to code it. Those mods are already done for us. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and install this. All you have to do is click on that second link and scroll down and where it says how to mod Power World using UE 4 SS. Click on the big button in here. That is going to redirect you to the GitHub page in here. You're going to look for the latest version in this video. It's 2.5.2. However, when you're watching this in the future, it might be a different one. I went ahead and put this on the releases for you guys. So whenever you click on it, you're going to find a newer one in here. Click on the newest one and then scroll down and click where it says input X input, right? We're going to download the X input one. It should be the second link in here. Click on that and that is going to start the download automatically. As you can see for me, it's asking me where to save the file. But for you guys, it's going to download right away. Go ahead and drag and drop the UE4SS to your desktop. And now go ahead and open a Steam to find your Power World game. Once you locate a Power World, you should see it in here. Go ahead and right click it, click manage, click browse local files. Okay. And that is going to open the installation folder of Power World. What you're going to do now is put these two folders side by side, the Power World folder and the UE4SS folder. You're going to put them side by side. If you're using Windows 11, you could just go ahead and double click on the zip file and it's going to open as a folder. If you're using Windows 10, you might have to download WinRare. I'm going to go ahead and leave that link in the description to download and install WinRare. So you guys just are able to open this up like a folder. Anyways, what we're going to do now is head over to the Power World folder and we're going to click where it says PAL. Then we're going to click where it says binaries, the first option. Then you're going to click Win64 and then you're going to be here in this folder where all you have to do is drag and drop all the content from UE4SS into this folder. Drag and drop all of those contents into here. And now you have added the Unreal Engine 4 SS. And as you can see, you also added the mods folder in here. That mods folder is pretty important because that is where we're going to add most of the script mods that we're going to download. Anyways, you could close the zip file now and you could also delete it if you wish and keep this folder open because we're going to need it in order to add mods. Anyways, head back into our guide. The second link in the description to click where it says best websites to get mods for Power World, or you could just scroll down a little bit and you will find these two buttons in here, the Nexus mod and the Curse Forge. Those are two different websites that are usually safe to download mods from because you don't want to download mods from random websites and then get a virus or something like that. So I went ahead and put the two most safe websites that I have used in the past to download mods from. In this video, we're going to use the Nexus mod page, but you can use CurseForge as well. As a matter of fact, that I'm going to use CurseForge later on to download a custom content. Go ahead and click on the Nexus page and you could obviously look for any mod that you want in here. There's tons of mods for this video. The mod that I'm going to install is the Map Unlocker. If you want to install the same mod as me, just click on it. However, if you want to download a different mod, right? Not the map unlocker, any other mod that you want. All you have to do is click on that mod, scroll a little bit down and make sure that you read through the installation guide because many mods will have different requirements when it comes to installing them. Anyways, for this mod, it's super simple. All we have to do is download the mod and add it to that mods folder that we just added to our Win64 folder. So to download this mod in Nexus, all you have to do is click manual download or just click download in there. It might say download for you because you're not signing. Just go ahead and create a free account and sign in to Nexus. Once you have the mod in here, click on slow download because it's a free one, right? We don't have the premium. And then just wait in here a couple of seconds and the download will start. For that mod, you'll get a zip file most of the time. So let's go ahead and try and drop that zip file to the desktop. Open your Win64 folder, right? The one that we had open in here, open that mods folder, open the zip file in here and just drag and drop this file into here, this folder into here, into the mods folder. 
Now let's go ahead and check back into the mod and see if we need anything extra in order to configure this mod. Because a lot of the times you might need something extra, right? Sometimes the mod will say something in here like modify X file or change certain settings. That's why you always have to read in here. Now, lucky for us, if we click on requirement, all we need is the UE 4SS, which we already installed earlier. So let's go ahead and open the game using the Steam launcher. Let's go ahead and open the game and see if we have our map unlocked. Let's see if we could see the whole map. And as you can see, I have a custom skin, which I'm gonna show you how to get a custom skin in a second. But if we press M, we could see that we have the whole map unlocked. So we know that we installed that mod properly, right? This is, I'm in day zero and I have the whole map unlocked. So as you can see, that is one way of installing mods, specifically installing the script mods and the script mods are those mods that modify the game code to do things like this, right? Unlock the whole map and change a couple of things around. Now let's go ahead and adding custom content or packs to the game. And just a quick reminder, guys, if you're still trying to make a Power World server and you can't figure it out, if you use the first link in the description, Apex Hosting will do the server completely for you and they will give you 25% off your first server. Obviously, the server is amazing because it instantly goes online so you can play with your friends without struggling to create a server. So yeah, if I were you, I'll obviously take advantage of that 25% off if you use the first link. Apex Hosting has a bunch of advantages. I'm never getting tired of saying this. I've been using Apex Hosting for more than two years now for my Minecraft server and I have been recently using it for Power World. Anyways, that is an option for you guys in the first link. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, the other way of modding Power World, like I said earlier, is using custom content. If you come here to our second link in the description and you click where it says how to add custom content to Power World in Steam, you're gonna have the written guide in here on how to do it. However, I'm gonna teach you because it's super, super simple. Now, whenever you go to the websites to download mods from, let's use Curse Force this time, just so you guys could see the both variations, right? And let's say that you wanna get, I don't know, this is skin or maybe this is skin right here, right? Play as a red hair trainer, which we already know who that is, but we're not gonna say the name because we don't wanna get copyrighted in this video, right? So whenever you come here and you're downloading a mod and you're reading through the instructions, you might see that some mods don't require the Unreal Engine 4 SS. Some of them just require you to drop the pack file, which is the custom content or the mod, into a folder. And I'm gonna show you how to do that super quick, even though we have photos in here. It's super, super simple. You just open a folder and you drop the file in there, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's say that we wanted to get this skin in Power World. All you have to do is download that file. Let's say that you come over here to CurseForge. You already know how to download mods from Nexus. Now let's do it in CurseForge, right? So if you find a mod in CurseForge that you want, you click on the mod, you click on file, you click on the little three dots in here and you click download file. Just wait around five seconds and your download will start. You should get a zip file as well. And then just go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop for easy use. Now go ahead and launch a Steam, right click on Power World, click manage, browse local files, and now we're back into the installation folder. Once in here, go ahead and click on the PAL folder, click where it says content, and now you should see a folder called packs. Go ahead and open that packs folder. A lot of the time, you're going to directly drop that pack that we just downloaded or that custom content or mod that we just downloaded into this folder. And some other times, you're going to drop it into the mods folder that is right here, right? How do we know where we have to drop it? Well, we're gonna check by reading the instructions from the mod. Let's go ahead and head over to the mod, head over to the description, and it says in here, drop the pack file in, and then it says into the mods folder, right? So, so we're gonna have to open that folder and drop that mod in there. Let's go ahead and open that folder, this zip file in here, and let's go ahead and drag and drop this file into here. Now we could head back into the game, click on play. Obviously you could close out from those folders, and let's go ahead and check if that mod is working. Let's go ahead and try and create a new world, and see if we could select that skin that we just downloaded. I'm gonna have to blur out that skin, guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to blur it out because, well, it turns out that Nintendo, it's actually um, giving people copyright strikes, which I find really, really stupid because I always find that custom content helps companies. But anyways, as you can see, that skin is right there. You could obviously tell them using that skin. And obviously you also have this custom skin right here, which is another skin that you could download, which I find really, really cool looking. And there is no copyright issues with it. And as you can see, we're now in Power World and we have a custom skin. Yeah, so that is pretty much how to download custom content or packs or custom mods. And that is the both ways that I know of installing custom content for Power World. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.